Obviously, bitterly disappointed with conceding three goals in the manner that we did. Um, lots of lessons to learn, but you know, we've had two debuts out there today. Um, you know, it's not easy, much changed team, people coming in that haven't necessarily played a lot of minutes, but equipped themselves really well. We've, we've got some lessons to learn in terms of our naivety and when we've pressed and the gaps we've left and stuff. But having said that, um, I thought we started the game really brightly. First half an hour we're on top without creating really anything that's too threatening. I thought we looked really comfortable, then they scored, and I think it just rocked us a little bit too much. And then second half, we, we went chasing a little bit and left big gaps. And something I need to look at as well as a coach is, you know, information at halftime, what information I give them, did that affect the changes, and is, it, is that what impacted the, the gaps? So I'll take my part in that, you know, and, and reflect on that. And then we haven't got any time to feel sorry for ourselves. We've got a massive game at the weekend, we know that, and we've got a, a very long journey, thanks to the end of herself, for sending us across coast after a midweek game. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got to prepare for that now. So, you know, the mentality of the players is, is let's learn, let's grow, but at the same time, no, no wallowing in it, we've got to move on. Uh, you mentioned a couple of debuts, uh, and other than the positives of having uh, some players and get some minutes under them, uh, what does a match like this Uh, yeah, the building block for later in the season, and do you also put stock in Boa Rain having been you know, a very tough team for this club? Yeah, Rainer been how long in this league? Built this roster for how many years? And got depth, and you know they had I think five internationals out there to start the game. Um, so you know we were up against a very high caliber team. We're a very high caliber team. The good thing is we've got minutes into players. We're going to head head into a World Cup window soon. We need to prepare for that World Cup window. We need to get people valuable minutes. We've been able to do that tonight. People have got experience. And um, I think that's been important. You know, Shea going in goal tonight was really important. Kaylin's not going to be here. So we need to make sure that she gets exposed to minutes. You know, playing McNabb at centre-back might be something we have to look at in a World Cup window. So she's been exposed to that. Um, you know, getting Mia on the field and giving her exposure when she's not played for a long time. Important because, you know, we're we're hopefully going to lose six, you know, potentially, that go to a World Cup. We've got to make sure that we bring in some NTRPs, but also these players here have got to, have got to step in into certain roles. So, you no, know, it's an opportunity to give them playing time. Um, I would do a Challenge Cup uh, matches in the season. Do you feel that's a positive having it during the season as compared to last season? It was more of a pre-season tournament. It has its pros and cons. I think pre-season's great. I think... Having it during the season enables us to give far more playing minutes to more members of our our team. I just wish we didn't. We we. I just I I can't understand the logic of a midweek game and an across the coast travel. It's absolutely ludicrous. Like we talk about player welfare here, non-existent. We're going to go to LA in the next midweek and we're going to fly to Chicago, play Wednesday, Saturday. Work that one out. But I want so. To you might watch that, yeah. So for me, like it's it has its place, and also they've put that Chica that LA and Chicago game the first week when we lose our international players. Worked that one out in the national window. So the scheduling is a big issue for me. Um, you know, in England when I was a head coach there, we got on calls with the league. We were asked information. We were able to say, don't put it here because it's a hot spot. Don't front load. You know, put in a free week. Free week. Um, game after an international window not sensible but they do it here but we would have had influence on that as coaches in England they would talk to us because we're football people making football decisions that understand loading and understand players that doesn't happen here so it's something that needs to change um, especially and I didn't travel five hours across coast and three hour time difference in England I got on a coach for four hours so um, yeah I'm on a bit of a rant but I think it's something that needs to schedule I think this cup is valuable I think it has its place I think it gives you valuable minutes across your squad and I think it's a, a cup we need to keep but where are you putting it you know that's my my question is is based around that and also give us a chance don't fly us across coast after a midweek game uh, rant over Yeah, absolutely. Um, Poe wore it last, unfortunately, she's done a great job. And I thought it was a really good opportunity to give Kaylee some experience in that leadership role. I think she's a natural leader anyway. 
I can't speak highly enough of Kaylee Real since she's been here. She's such a student of the game. She's so coachable, and I think her levels have gone up since being here. She's been a someone who stepped in in difficult moments. She's been so reliable for us, and yeah, I thought again tonight she had a, another decent performance, and you know she's she's going to have to go again at the weekend. And uh, I'm completely out of topic. You and the team all wore orange today. Coming to the I was wondering if you speak a little bit about the reason. Why. Yeah, obviously against gun violence. Um, I come from England where guns are illegal, so coming here um, and thinking that my children have got to go to school and do shooter training scares the life out of me. And the mass shootings that happen day after day after day and the amount of lives and young lives and any lives that are lost here due to guns, I can't wrap my head around. I will never be able to wrap my head around and I am completely and utterly against it. I don't understand it. I'll never understand it. Um, I think this country would be a far safer place without them. Uh, what were you looking for specifically going to the Yeah, it was always going to be difficult for us. New partnerships out there, debuts out there. But at the same time, I trust my squad and I trust my players. I think we made errors at critical times that you know cost us goals. I still think we had positives. I thought Amira's performance was a positive tonight to get that many minutes out of her, and I thought she was a bright spark in our performances. I think we had to expose um, Giovanna to minutes. You know, she was a, a good pickup for us in the draft, and we wanted to see where she's at. And to push her to 90 minutes on the debut is a big ask, but she's got through it and, and done well. And I think, obviously, just, like I said, giving valuable minutes to players that haven't played yet, but also giving exposure to those that needed some minutes was was key in getting Taylor back in the team and exposing her to even more minutes and getting Meggie on the pitch after a long injury. Is, all of these things are huge positives to us going into this weekend. And uh, how important is it to work out some of the holes in the team uh, that they're playing now, two months ahead of when they're Yeah, massive. Massive, it's important. I think there'll be in massive individual learning development points from tonight that we can go over with players and there'll be some collective stuff. Um, but yeah, it was, yeah, it was, I thought it was a really, really valuable learning moment for us tonight, albeit I hate losing, I hate conceding three goals, and the players mm -hmm. hate it even more. So, you know, it's, it's learning from that. And, but okay. at the same time, we haven't got time. You know, we've got to learn quick, move fast, and, and make sure that we're ready for the weekend. Hi, Coach. Um, so you mentioned Taylor, like, her first start you know, after the injury. How tough has it been for her, especially you know, the World Cup coming up? But right and, now. Uh, how hard is it that we're on the team? I think for her personally, incredibly tough to have an injury that's out of your control um, with a World Cup on the horizon with a, a, a roster spot that you're fighting for and trying to fight back, incredibly difficult for her and time is of the essence. But I think in the same time, Vlatko knows what she can do. Vlatko is very aware of her strengths and, and what she brings to his roster. It's up to him whether he chooses to take her to the World Cup. But I think actually having valuable minutes tonight and then building up that fitness in return so that you know, if she is picked, that she's fit and available and ready to go, I think will, will certainly help her psychologically. <laughs>